Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. After working on our ambulance conversion non-stop for over four months, we were burned out. So when two of our best friends from home offered to drive to Missouri and camp with us for a long weekend, we jumped at the chance. These five days were exactly what we needed. We can't thank our friends enough for making the long trip to Missouri and spending time with us. After our trip, it was time to say goodbye to our old rig. There it goes. Say goodbye. How do you feel? Sad. Yeah, I feel sad. I mean, I'm happy for him, but I feel sad that yeah, it's for the awesome camper and I think he's going to be happy about it. But yeah, it's... It's not ours anymore. No. <sighs> he's so excited about it, though, that I'm... Yeah, I feel really nice. good about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. And <sighs> now we're homeless. Well, I mean, kind of. <laughs> until our home is finished, yeah. yeah. Not very homeless. Yeah. All right, let's go finish our home. <laughs> Hi, friends. So, after the drama and the setbacks of last week, we are ready to move on. We're gonna start building the dinette today, but of course, knowing Greg, it is not as simple as just two like bench seats. He has designed this thing so that it uses every inch of space that is available to us, and the storage built into it is super custom for us. So for example, we are gonna have two semi-hidden compartments for our laptops, and we'll actually be able to keep them in there and charge them while we're driving. And that is huge because in the last rig, you know, we were always having to stick our laptops back in a backpack and there was cables everywhere. This is just going to be much cleaner, much more of a permanent setup for us. Um, yeah, so he's got a lot of really cool things planned for the dinette. I'm pretty excited about it, um, but it's definitely not going to be quick and I don't think it's gonna be easy. So yeah, we'll see. Ready to move on. I'm about to cut the first piece of the dinette and attempt not to F it up. Are you nervous that I'm gonna mess it up? Yes. As RuPaul would say, good luck, don't fuck it up. I want to show you guys though, the new tool that Greg picked up this morning. He couldn't sleep and he woke me up at like six in the morning to tell me that we needed narrow crown stapler. This is funny because when we were taking apart the ambulance and I saw that everything was stapled together, I was like, why don't we staple our furniture together? And Greg was like, no, that's ridiculous. We're not doing that. And then this morning he discovered staples that have glue in them. And he was like, let's staple some of our furniture together. Is this an accurate description? Very accurate. Why did you not want to staple it when it was my idea? Because I didn't want the furniture to come loose, but... But now it's okay if it comes loose? No, because there's glue in it, so it should not come loose. So my idea, my original idea was great. That's what I'm hearing. Right.
During this time, we also had Arnie's Plumbing come out and finish up the install of our mini split air conditioner and heat pump. Before installing the dinette, Greg installed our diesel heater and also our water fill lines, both of which run underneath the dinette. And we'll talk about them more in a different video. All right, so after what seems like forever, but I know it hasn't been forever, we're gonna install the dinette. All these pieces behind me are gonna go in. Any last words of excitement before it goes in? Uh, I hope we measured right. I hope the correction is correct. I hope it's gonna be smooth and go well. so used to it being like wide open in here for all these months. Do you think it's gonna feel really small? I hope not. I mean, I think it will definitely feel smaller, but I hope that it's still gonna feel big with all the big windows. And at the same time, it has always been a mess in here, so I don't know. <laughs> it's taking a lot of space for this channel. Greg was able to knock out the construction of our kitchen cabinets, which meant we were able to move on to cutting out the opening for our sink. The location of our sink is pretty awesome. It goes right into a compartment that's accessible from the outside and has all of our other water stuff like water filtration and water pump. This is going to make plumbing really easy down the line. Our kitchen cabinets, as well as our dinette, are bolted through the wheel wells to secure them to the floor. All of our water lines run behind our kitchen cabinets, and we're gonna make access panels to cover these up, but to keep access should we ever need to get to them in the future. With our kitchen cabinets in place, we moved on to finishing more of our ceiling. Pretty good. It was a hard job, but I think it looked pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Yay! I think it looks awesome. It's dirty. Yeah, <laughs> I need to do some cleaning. Good job. High five. <laughs>